Good morning, America. Good morning, David. Like most of his fans, I first met Hervé Villaché on the screen in films like The One and Only and as Tattoo in Fantasy Island. When I came to meet him, I became acquainted with his hangouts like this cafe in Venice, California, his many talents and hobbies, and his special outlook on life. I painted since I'm six years old, and until I was 23, I, I didn't stop painting. And how'd you turn to acting? How'd that happen? Um, I just answered um, an ad in a Village Voice, that's a newspaper in New York, and they wanted somebody small to be in a play, so I went. Are the rest of your family all normal size? What do you call normal size? To me, sir, I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, they're all regular size. And uh, I was the only kid to be small in the family. And my father used to be a um, doctor, he used to be a surgeon, and, uh, you know, it didn't make any difference to him or to my mother. They just treat me like everybody. Hervé, what don't the rest of us understand about life for a man your size? What's different for you? Um, I just don't like um, pity, but it's nothing different. What's different is the attitude of people toward me. They're the one who reminds me that I'm small by the way they act with me. You know, in the street, uh, when I go to a place, a uh, public place or whatsoever. But I have people who, who come to me and I don't know them and they say, they ask me personal questions like my sex life, how you do it, how you do this. Well, that's not their business because even if you were uh, a regular size, you will not ask a question like that. I know that you've recently gotten a divorce. How did that change your ideas about women and about love? We didn't divorce our heart at all. She loves me and I love her still. She's got a boyfriend in France. I've got my girlfriend here. We, we will always love each other. We, it's not going to be a break. Where did you get this philosophy of life, this easy going? Well, uh, I think by being in the street so long. You know, I'm a street boy. I'm a country, a country boy, too. And what is Tattoo's fantasy? What is Hervé's fantasy? Please, people, open your eyes and reach each other. And don't waste your life the way you are wasting it now by just thinking, oh, this is my life and I don't care about anybody else me because he bothers me or because um, I'm, I like to stay uh, with myself and I don't care about it. That's their problem. People say, that's not my problem. I don't want to hear it. But I don't want to hear that. I want to hear them say, oh, you got a problem. Let me help you if I can. Every when are you happiest? Well, I'm happy doing a lot of different things and uh, I've got a lot of interest. Um, I like to walk in the country. I like to take pictures. I like to do my garden early in the morning and water it and plant things. Um, I like to write poetry. Um, I like to bicycle. And I like to go fishing. And I like to walk on the beach when it rains. So I'm always happy uh, being, you know, me. but I like to put my philosophy out and my philosophy is to help other people and to open your eyes and forget about yourself a little bit you know people have a tendency to live their life only for themselves and I don't like that too much I like to make jokes about my size um, I've got a lot of t-shirts and I've got one who says grow and I've got another one who says bionic midget I like to do crazy things like that They say to succeed in show business, you have to be unique. Hervé Villachez is an actor with a built-in gimmick that gets him lots of attention. More and more, he's being taken seriously for his talent. From Venice, California, I'm Jean Wolfe. One more time, Jean. Take it, David. <laughs> thank you, Hervé. I wondered who'd shot that beautiful film. <laughs> That's right. Gorgeous film. And Jean, thank you. And Hervé, great having you with us this morning on Good Morning America.